You have good models, you have good textures, but then your lighting looks like this and everything falls apart. But it could look like this. Therefore, you need to learn these five lighting tricks that will level up your renders fast. Light blinking is a new feature in Blender that allows you to light every object separately. Simply bring in an area lamp, go to the object properties right here and under shading, you can select light linking and press new. Now drag your object into this box and the light only works on this object. Or if you uncheck this box, the light is excluded from the object. You can use this for product renders, lighting your scene like so, or even adding eye lights to your characters. Did you know all lamps have their own light shape? That's right, not everything is a point light or a rectangle. You might have seen this light shape, or this one, or maybe this one. Well, that's where IES textures come into play. Go to this website and download an IES texture. Link is in the description. Then click on your point light and select Use Nodes under the Light Properties. Add an IES texture node and set it to External. Now select your IES texture. Plug the IES texture into the strength and now you have a very cool light shape. But if you want to make it look even better, check out this next part. All light has temperature and it's measured on the scale of Kelvin. So if you want to make the lighting look even better, then add a black body note and plug it into the color. You can now pick a temperature to make the color of your light look more realistic. Here's a skill that shows different temperatures for different lighting situations. This trick makes the color of your lighting look a lot more realistic. However, although light that doesn't move has its charms, your renders instantly become become higher value when you add moving lights. If you have a strong and sharp light and place an object in front of it, it will create very harsh shadows and lighting that looks very dynamic and cool, especially if it moves. Take for example the leaves of a tree that block the sunlight. Now we have a cool looking shadow texture moving around our object, which instantly increases the production value of this render by at least a thousand euros. So what you need are gobos which stands for go between optics. It's basically a layer placed in front of the light to distort its shape. If you want to skyrocket your lighting quality instantly, I recommend informing yourself on the ultimate gobo pack, link is in the description. So let's make an easy one in Blender ourselves as well. Add an area lamp and a cube. Use the cube to make a principled volume and lower the density. Now go to the area lamp, reduce the spread to zero degrees and click on use notes. In the shader editor, add a Voronoi texture and a color ramp. Decrease the scale on the Voronoi texture and make the color ramp more contrasty by bringing the black and white closer to each other. Now plug it into the strength and shine your light in the volumetric god rays. Once again, click on the link in the description to check out the ultimate Gobo pack. And if you want to become an undeniable force in the 3D space, then I highly recommend watching this video next.